I just came back from a cycle through the mist, so now my glasses are damp from the early autumn drizzle and I think I can already take like the first thing of the dark academia list with that one. Welcome friends, my name is Leonie. I currently look like a sock. But I want to look Dark Academia. So for this video, my plan was to do the Dark Academia book tag. And while answering the questions, I'm going to give myself a Dark Academia makeover. But what actually is Dark Academia? In case you're unaware, Dark Academia is this internet aesthetic that revolves around academia spending long nights at the library, collecting old books, studying Latin and Greek, reciting romantic poetry and murder, maybe? Here are some popular Dark Academia movies and here are some popular Dark Academia books. I'm a big fan of this aesthetic and it's very closely linked to books and reading. So Emmy and Carolyn made a tag, the Dark Academia book tag. I will link both their channels in the description. I really enjoy both of their channels. So I highly recommend checking them out. And they made this tag, so this list of questions about Dark Academia. So I thought it would be fun for me to answer those questions while I do my makeup and give myself a full-on Dark Academia outfit. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try to do my makeup in the viewfinder, so I hope all goes well. Here I have my little makeup station. This is where I do my makeup every day. The first question of the tag is, what is your favorite Dark Academia book and movie? I have watched a lot of Dark Academia movies yet, but I do know one that I absolutely, absolutely love to bits and that I recently rewatched, and that is Mona Lisa's Smile. It's like in the 50s. We follow a professor of art history and she's teaching all these young girls to, I guess, like think for themselves and think outside of the box. It's very much about like feminism and all these young girls go to university but then when they get their, their degree they're just gonna get married and uh, they don't really put their degree to use. And I think it's a wonderful movie. I just love any kind of movie <laughs> that is about women doing smart things. <laughs> and then my favorite Dark Academia book, actually my favorite book of all time, Vicious, is supposedly also Dark Academia, which I get because it takes place at a university and it's about these very like ambitious two guys that kind of take their ambition a little bit too far. But if you want to go for a more traditionally dark academia book, I'm gonna choose The Picture of Dorian Gray. It doesn't take place at a university, but it's very dark. It's very much about how like, ambition and I guess greed and vanity can lead to all sorts of corrupt things. So I love those. So for the makeup, I think dark academia makeup is very like simple and neutral, but maybe with a kind of slightly bold lip. I just realized that it would probably be more dark, dark, dark academia if I just uh, kept my dark circles, you know, from just staying up late at night reading poetry when in reality I just stayed up late at night watching YouTube, but no one has to know that. The next question is what that poet would you like to have a drink with? Now I'm gonna have to admit something, even though I love dark academia, I'm not very familiar with poetry. I still have the complete poems of John Keats and I do know that John Keats is like peak, peak dark academia. So if I ever get around to reading it, I'm sure I would enjoy it and then would like to have dinner with him. Question three is what is your favorite painting and or sculpture? Let me first finish my eyebrows, otherwise I'm like half half. Okay, if we turn around, I have a few art posters over here. One of my favorite paintings is this one. It's the Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog by, I always forget his name, it's Kasper David Friedrich, I think. I saw that one in real life in Hamburg and honestly if you see it in real life, even better because it really feels as if you're just standing there <laughs> behind this man watching over these mountains and this fog and ever since seeing it in real life it has become one of my favorite paintings. Another one of my favorite paintings is Saturn by de Goya. It's pretty creepy, <laughs> I'm aware. But I really want to see it in real life. I think it's in Madrid, so I, I should have to go to Madrid someday. But I just love how creepy this one is and it just captivates me every time that I look at it. 
and especially the story behind it that this is one of the paintings that de Goya made in his home so he drew a lot of paintings on the walls of his home including this one and I just think that adds a completely different dimension of creepiness knowing that this was not meant to be seen by other people. That's why this painting fascinates me so much. But generally when it comes to art, I just love any kind of modern art. I think I'm gonna go for like a very soft brown eyeshadow. This is the only eyeshadow palette I ever use. It's the Morphe, thir the Morphe 35O. Beautiful colors. Question four is what is your favorite architectural marvel? The one that immediately comes to mind is one that I have not ever seen but that I really want to see because uh, I loved learning about it in art history class but that is anything made by Gaudi because everything he makes is so surrealistic and seems so out of this world and I can only imagine if you see that in Barcelona that you would just feel like stepping into a different world. I, th I guess I just need to go to Spain <laughs> so I can go to Barcelona and to Madrid. I did it a bit messy but I think that just fits the aesthetic. Okay, that's my... <laughs> I'm just gonna use that as an excuse for everything. <laughs> Question five is what Shakespeare play would you want to be the lead in? So I'm gonna have to admit something. I just absolutely don't know anything about Shakespeare. I know about Romeo and Juliet and I know that Hamlet is the one where a lot of people die. <laughs> but other than that, I'm very unfamiliar. <laughs> I know that the dark academia aesthetic is very focused on academic but mostly like humanities, like the literature and language and all that. I'm more of the biology <laughs> side of the academia, so I, I just don't know a lot about poetry and Shakespeare, so I also can't really say in which Shakespearean play I would like to be the lead in. I'm getting the darkest blush that I own because I think that fits. Question six is how many languages do you speak and which language would you most like to learn? Well, clearly I speak English and I also speak Dutch because Dutch is my native language. I've had French for a good six years in secondary school, um, but I don't really remember a lot because it's been five years since I've had any kind of French class. I can't speak French. I can't understand French because you French people speak like in at ungodly speed, <laughs> but I can read it. And then we have German, which I had for three years. And also I kind of grew up going on holiday to Austria, Germany, and like the north of Italy. So I can get around <laughs> using German in holiday settings and I can kind of understand it because it's so similar to Dutch but I can't really speak it. And I have like super 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 basic level of Spanish because I took like one semester of Spanish class um, and I would like to learn more Spanish. I would also like to pick up my French again and like a completely new language that I would love to learn is Japanese because I used to be a big fan of anime. <laughs> it's so different from any like European language, like a whole different alphabet and all that. And I think it would be really cool to learn Japanese. Question seven is what is your favorite quote? So I don't actually keep track of quotes from books that I read, but I do know that I have this note on my phone of like two quotes that I ever wrote down. <laughs> so I guess that's already a sign that this one apparently was special enough to be written down in the depths of my notes. The quote is as follows. In the midst of winter, I found there was within me an invincible summer and it is by Albert Camus. It's nothing profound or deep, but it's so hopeful and I think very visual. And I also really like Albert Camus' work, so. That's the quote I'm going for. Question eight, which fictional character's death is your ideal way to go? I don't have one. I wanna die in my sleep. <laughs> question nine is what university college would you most like to attend? That's such a good question. I don't really have a dream university, but whenever I see like these universities in the UK or in the United States that are these like old gothic buildings, I'm just like, whoa, these universities like actually exist. That's amazing because here in the Netherlands, we have old university buildings, but we don't use them anymore because there's not enough space in them anymore. So all the universities are just these new boring buildings. So I would love to go to like say Edinburgh. It just looks super cool and have that like old English vibe. Question 10 is what is your murder weapon of choice? 
By the way, I'm putting in golden earrings because I feel like just a dainty little earring is very classic dark academia. Nothing too flashy, but still classy. That almost rhymed. But I, I know this is the answer every person gives to this question, but my murder weapon of choice will be poison. Yes, it's just cool. Maybe it's because I'm a coward. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm just attracted to the idea of like creating the poison and like kind of in a chemistry, alchemy way. Question 11 is what mythology would you most like to be a part of? I don't really know which mythology I would like to be a part of because most mythologies are kind of just a, a, weird, a weird party. Um, but the mythologies that I'm most interested in are Greek mythology, of course. We're all basic here. I also really like Japanese mythology because it has all these interesting animals and beasts and honestly, I would love to know more about Egyptian mythology. Maybe I should just look into that. Maybe I'm gonna do that after I'm filming this video. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos about Egyptian mythology. Question 12 is if you had to do a PhD, what would you choose to do it on? Well, I'm currently doing my master's degree in neurobiology and the natural path in that is to also do a PhD in that. I don't know if I want to do a PhD because it's a very stressful thing to do. But if I were to do a PhD, it would be in neurobiology because that's my field and I would prefer to do that on any kind of mental illness. So like the biological basis of say anxiety disorders or depression, that really interests me. And before we get to the last question, we're gonna do the last part of the makeup, which I think is just gonna be like a red lip, but not like full on red, just like kind of a stained red lip. And with that question number 13 is which fictional character would you die for? This is a difficult question because I have a lot of characters that I love, but I don't think I could give you my favorite character. <laughs> and a lot of my favorite characters are very morally gray, so I would definitely not die for them. They don't deserve that. <laughs> okay, I think we've got the Dark Academia makeup look done. Now for the last set of questions, let's move on to picking an outfit. <laughs> Hello, welcome to this part of my room that you've never seen my videos, but here I have my wardrobe. <laughs> I just remembered the fact that half of my wardrobe is here in my university room and the other half is in my parents' house. And I just realized that almost all of the typical dark academia items, I don't have them with me right now, but we're just gonna have to make do with what I have here. Next part of the dark academia tag is a rapid fire question round where you just have to choose between two things, leather bound or cloth bound, cloth bound, because it feels nicer. And honestly, the idea of leather bound books kind of weirds me out. It's like, ooh, look at this old, nice book it's covered in skin dog earring pages or highlighting pages i do neither of them but i think i would prefer to highlight pages sculptures or paintings paintings piano or violin i'm gonna go with piano because i think piano just has the sound of raindrops falling in a puddle films or theater i'm gonna go with films i never go to the theater but i do love movies Museums or bookshops? Okay, that's just an evil question. <laughs> and although I absolutely adore going to bookstores, I think it would just be worse in my life if I could never go to a museum again, because in a museum, it's a more special experience to me and you really stay there for a longer time and it really is like an activity in itself. Whereas going to bookstores is wonderful, but usually it's just me looking around. <laughs> the smell of books or the smell of coffee tea? I'm gonna go with the smell of books because I, I don't actually really like the smell of tea. I do like the smell of coffee, but I don't drink coffee. Fountain pen or typewriter? I'm gonna go with fountain pen. I don't write with a fountain pen, but I do like writing with the, um, I don't know what that's called. These, and then just a pot of ink. And then new or used books, I'm gonna go with new books. I just like having like a pristine new book and then being the first one to like read it and annotate it and use it. All right, I've propped up a bunch of clothes. Let's put on the items. <laughs> Here we have the classic combo of jumper collar and white fitting pants. I think a dark academia outfit always works if you stay tonal. I 
absolutely love this outfit. This is one of my favorite pair of pants. And this oversized corduroy blazer is also from the thrift store. I'm aware that some of the dark academia staples like plaid and corduroy and dress pants are a bit more difficult to find so I wanted to create one outfit with items that I think are a bit more accessible. Just find like a cool non-skinny jeans and a turtleneck. Add to that a belt. Then keep your accessories and makeup tonal to the colors that you're wearing. Throw on some long outerwear and boom, you're there. I feel ready to ask my professor very annoying questions. <laughs> and that, my friends, was the Jock Academia book tag in which I also turned myself more Jock Academia. And I discovered a few new outfits that I really like. I know this video was kind of chaotic, but I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, if you did, leave a like and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on my social media at the Book Leo. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon in another one. Goodbye!